नमस्कार आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप देख रहे हैं पीएमए विद्या चैनल चैनल नंबर दस आप सभी का स्वागत करती हूं मैं रेणु भट्ट अपने इस लाइव फोन इन प्रोग्राम में जिसमें आप पार्टिसिपेट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि ये लाइव इंटरक्टिव सेशन हम लेकर आते हैं सिर्फ आपके लिए हम अपने सभी देखने वालों को बता दें कि इस सेशन में हम बात करने वाले हैं साइंस के टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड के बच्चों के लिए और आज का हमारा टॉपिक रहेगा रिफ्रेक्शन ऑफ लाइट इस टॉपिक पर हम बात करेंगे कोई भी क्वेरी आपके मन में आए तो अपनी क्वेरीज आप हम तक पहुंचाइए आप हमें कॉल कर सकते हैं हमारे टेलीफोन नंबर पर जो है डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन इधर आप हमें मेल भेज सकते हैं हमारे ईमेल एड्रेस पे जो है डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेंथ एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन और एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल पर आप हमारे और भी कई ज्ञानवर्धक प्रोग्राम्स के लिए आप ये चैनल एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि आप ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा संख्या में अपनी सभी क्वेरीज और डाउट के साथ हमसे जुड़ें ताकि कोई भी बात आपको ऐसी ना रहे आपके पास जो आपको समझ में ना आए तो हम अपनी इस सेशन को शुरू करें तो हम आपको मिलवा दें अपने एक्सपर्ट से जो इस समय हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में मौजूद है चलिए उनसे मिलते हैं यू आर मिस वंदना डेमरी यू आर टी जी टी फिजिक्स फ्रॉम डी पब्लिक स्कूल सेक्टर 49 गुरुग्राम वेरी वॉम वेलकम मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी ओवर एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल द डियर स्टूडेंट्स हु आर वॉचिंग दिस लाइफ यस मैम आंसर सारे तो जो हमारे बच्चे हमारे साथ अभी लाइव जुड़ चुके हैं मैम और हम आपसे जानना चाहेंगे इस टॉपिक के बारे में जब हम बात करते हैं रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट तो क्या कुछ खास है आपके पास हमारे बच्चों के लिए आज बिल्कुल जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं मेरे सामने आ, कुछ बीकर्स पड़े हुए हैं वाटर में सो एट फर्स्ट आई हैव दिस बीकर एंड इन दिस बीकर आई हैव टेकन सम वाटर नाउ नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू इमर्स दिस पेंसिल इन द बीकर so if you see this pencil in the beaker appears to be bent hmm. or it appears to be broken from in between but when i take this out in the air the pencil is not broken right again i am immersing this in water and you can see the pencil appears bent now next my dear student do you see this arrow i've taken a piece of paper on which i've drawn an arrow right now let us try and look through please notice the direction in which the arrow is pointing now let us take this behind this beaker and observe the direction in which the arrow is pointing isn't it amazing the direction of the arrow gets reversed hmm notice this once again और डेफिनेटली मैम हम आपसे जानना चाहेंगे कि इस इस ऑब्जर्वेशन के पीछे रीजन क्या है यस सो द रीजन बिहाइंड दीज ऑब्जर्वेशन इज रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट सो रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट इज अ सब टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर टेन लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ क्लास टेंथ एन सी आर टी साइंस टेक्स बुक रेनू जी बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद टू डेज सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन श्योर मैम Venu ji what will happen if the light will strike an opaque object like hmm. this what according to you should happen ma'am it will bounce back yes it will bounce back and we have learned in our previous grades that bouncing back of light through an opaque object is known as reflection of light now suppose if i take a transparent object like this hmm. rectangular glass block or water in this beaker hmm. this is again transparent so what will happen if the light is incident on this glass block ma'am it will pass most pass. of the light most will pass yes. through it yes, yes. ma'am definitely so this is the topic of today's talk refraction of light when light passes through a transparent medium we call it as refraction of light and we are going to learn about this topic in detail today so my dear student If you look at the screen you must have heard of this phenomenon called rectilinear propagation of light so what is rectilinear propagation of light the light travels in a straight line the property of light traveling in a straight line is known as rectilinear propagation of light right but does light always travel in a straight line or there is some condition to it yes the light travels in a straight line when it is traveling in a single medium but what will happen when the light changes its medium have you ever wondered about it so let's learn more about it today as you can see on the screen dear children i have taken a rectangular glass block and 
a ray of light is incident on the rectangular glass block. So my dear children, you can see that the ray of light which is incident and which is traveling in the air is traveling in a straight line. But the moment it strikes the boundary of your rectangular glass slab, what happens? The light deviates, the light changes its direction, right? Again, when it hits the another boundary, which is the upper boundary here, the direction of the light changes. So this phenomenon is called as refraction of light. So when we talk about the definition of refraction of light, the change in direction of light when it passes obliquely from one transparent medium to another at the boundary separating the two media is called refraction of light. My dear students, please note here again that the two medium here, the two medium that we have taken are air and glass respectively. So when the light is traveling in air, it travels along a straight line. But when it enters into the glass, it changes its direction of propagation. My dear children, I would like all of you to notice the word obliquely here. So what do we mean by obliquely? Obliquely means when the light is incident diagonally at the interface, at the boundary. So diagonally means making some angle. But what will happen if the light is incident straight or if the light is incident perpendicular at the boundary? Let's see this. As it is clear from the diagram, from the picture on the screen, you can see the light ray passes undeviated. It does not change its direction of propagation. It is moving straight through the glass slab. So what can we say about the refraction of light? Is refraction not happening in this case? No. Refraction is still happening in this case, but there is no bending of light in this case. So my dear children, please notice that refraction of light happens when the light ray is incident at some angle or when it is incident obliquely at the boundary separating the two media. Okay, now moving ahead. The next question that arises in our mind is what causes refraction of light? What is the cause behind it? Why does the light refract? So before we learn about the real cause of refraction of light, we should know about one important term called as optical density. Now, what is optical density? Optical density is the property of any transparent material that measures the speed of light through the material. So, that means if we have any two given media, the one having a higher value of the speed of light is called as the optically rarer medium and the medium in which the light of the speed of the light is uh, low it is called as an optically denser medium so you can see it on the screen in optically denser medium the light will have lower speed and in an optically rarer medium the light will have higher speed let's understand it this way please focus here yes suppose we have two media glass and air right now the speed of light through air is approximately 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second and speed of the light through glass is approximately 2 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second since light travels slowly in glass so we say that glass is an optically denser medium. Optically denser medium. As compared to air. So we say air is an optically rarer medium. Right? My dear children, I have noticed this oftenly that Students oftenly mistake optical density with mass density. Are they the same? No. There is a huge difference between optical density and mass density. Now let us try out a simple experiment to understand the difference between optical density and mass density. 
So again, I have taken this beaker. Please focus. Now next, I'm going to pour some oil over it. Right? Hmm. So, Renuji, can you tell me which one is lighter and which one is heavier? Ma'am, I guess oil is lighter than water. Yes. Pani ki density zada hai isliye aur tel ki density kam hai isliye wo pani pe yes. float kar raha hai. Yes, yes. So, yaha mass density ki agar hum baat karte hai, you can see this clearly children. The oil is floating over water. So, mass density of oil is less than as compared to mass density of water. Okay. Hmm. यानी कि वाटर हेवियर है और ऑयल जो है वो लाइटर, वो लाइटर है तो अगर हम मास डेंसिटी की बात करते हैं तो मास डेंसिटी इज बेसिकली मास पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इट इज बेसिकली अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अमाउंट ऑफ मास विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द स्पेस इट ऑक्यूपाइज राइट बट टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑप्टिकल डेंसिटी प्लीज फोकस योर speed of light in oil is around 2.04 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second and speed of light in water is approximately 2.24 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second so If we talk about the mass density of oil, hmm. mass density of oil is lighter than water. water. But optical density, since the speed of light, you can see here, since the speed of light in oil is 2.04 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second, which is less than the speed of light in water. So we say that the optical density of oil is more than the optical density of water. water okay so this is the difference between the mass density and the optical density okay so moving forward so now once we are clear about the optical density let's move towards the cause of the refraction what is the cause of the refraction what actually causes refraction of light so the cause of refraction is basically the change in speed of light as it enters from one transparent medium to another light cannot travel with the same speed in different medium right so we have already learned that in optically denser medium the light slows down and in an optically rarer medium the speed of light gets fast right so this is the main cause of refraction of light as you can see here on the screen when a ray of light travels from a rarer medium you can see here on the screen children that light ray is incident in air and it is moving from air to glass so when the light ray is incident from air to glass the speed of light will be slower it will get slow down and hence it will change its direction of motion renu ji I would like to ask you some questions. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, suppose Renu ji, you are moving on a road which is, hmm. you know, free from any kind of obstacle, hmm. which is a plain road, hmm. right? Hmm. Would you want to change your direction of motion in that case? Of course not, ma'am. Yes, but what if you hit a rough patch on the okay. road? If there are uh, certain potholes or if hmm. uh, like. जैसे आजकल दिल्ली एनसीआर में बहुत बारिश हो रही है आगे कीचड़ है या मिट्टी वाला रास्ता है सो वुड यू स्टिल लाइक टू कंटिन्यू मूविंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन और व्हाट विल बी योर स्ट्रेटजी मैम आई विल बी मोर केयरफुल वाइल ड्राइविंग और उससे उस रोड से जाते समय मैं अगर बात करें तो वो जितने भी हॉल्स हैं वहाँ पे जितने भी गड्ढे हैं उनसे बच बच के हम निकलना चाहेंगे एग्जैक्टली exactly. तो आप यानी जिस डायरेक्शन में पहले मूव कर रहे थे आप सेम डायरेक्शन में मूव नहीं करना चाहिए राइट यू विल चेंज योर डायरेक्शन सो समथिंग सिमिलर इज हैपनिंग विद द लाइट हेयर ऑल्सो राइट नाउ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग विद द लाइट एज आई टोल्ड यू ओके 
okay this is basically a normal here the medium is rarer suppose the light is moving from air to glass so glass is an optically denser medium right so this medium n and dash is basically an imaginary perpendicular which is drawn at the interface of air and glass right you can also say that in simpler words this is the boundary or separating the air medium from glass medium now suppose the light is incident at some certain angle right this angle is known as angle of incidence now suppose on moving into denser medium the light will change its direction so the light changes its direction because its speed is changing in the denser medium iski light ki jo speed hai wo kam ho rahi hai so this angle will be known as angle of refraction so light kya kar rahi hai kyunki light ki speed slow ho gayi so light is trying to take the shortest path so that it takes less time through this medium so rather than moving along the same old path which is shown by a dotted line here so this was the original direction of incident ray the light bends towards the normal and takes a shorter path right so this is what happens when light moves from a rarer medium to a denser medium right so when light travels from a rarer medium to a denser medium it bends towards the normal as you can see the light ray has bent towards the normal so there is something to learn from the nature of light in our real lives also children whenever we hit a rough patch in our life right we must also devise certain strategies we must also come up with certain strategies to deal with those change in the situations right we cannot be you know aisa nahi hai ki you, there is a saying this they say that when life give you gives you lemon make lemonade right so this is what light is doing here लाइट की स्पीड स्लो डाउन हो गई मगर लाइट ने क्या किया अपना पाथ चेंज कर लिया तो हमें भी अपने रियल लाइफ में अगर सिचुएशन कंड्यूसिव नहीं है तो क्या करना चाहिए सेम ओल्ड स्ट्रैटेजीज के साथ नहीं वर्क करना चाहिए वी हैव टू वर्क आउट ऑन सम न्यू स्ट्रैटेजीज विच हेल्प अस टू डील विद चेंजेस सडन चेंजेस इन लाइफ राइट सो ना एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन पैंस अगैन द इंसिडेंट लाइट रे इज इंसिडेंट in air in the medium air so air is a rarer medium and it enters into glass glass is a denser medium so we can say we can see it clearly through the diagram that the light ray gets bent towards the normal so obviously here angle of refraction r is the angle of refraction it is lesser than angle of incidence which is denoted by letter i moving forward what happens when a ray of light travels from a denser medium to a rarer medium now when light travels from a denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal you can see the dotted line is a normal we have drawn the normal using a dotted line and the angle with the normal which the incident ray is making is known as angle of incidence again light in moving from glass to air in air the speed of the light will increase and hence you can see the light ray refracts away from the normal it moves away from the normal and accordingly angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence so i think you have understood this part of refraction and you have also understood the cause of refraction okay moving forward children now let's try and understand what happened in the first activity that i had shown you today so you could see that the pencil bent in the water so what is happening here you can see this clearly through the diagram the pencil stick which is immersed in the water right the part which is immersed in the water is sending the light ray in a different direction for simplicity we have taken a single point lying on the pencil o point o which is inside the water 
So now you can see through the point O, we have taken two incident rays, CI and OD. So the rays of light, CI and OD, which are traveling in water, since they are traveling in water, they will move along a straight line. But as the ray of light changes the medium, as it enters the medium air, what is happening? The light ray will bend away from the normal. That's why you can see the bending of light happening at point C and D. So the light rays Cx and Dy are finally entering the eye of the observer. You can see clearly in the diagram that the light rays Cx and Dy are entering into the eye of the observer. और जब इन light rays Cx और Dy को हम trace back करते हैं पीछे की तरफ light rays Cx और Dy को पीछे की तरफ trace back straight अगर हम extend करते हैं so they appear to meet at point I. So what is actually happening here? जो point O है water के अंदर हमारी eye को उसकी image point O पे ना form हो के उस point की image point I पे form हो रही है. Right? So likewise, जो सारे points pencil पे लाए कर रहे हैं point O और B के बीच पे, हर एक point की जो image है, वो थोड़ी सी raised form हो रही है between the points B and I. That is why the part of the pencil which is immersed in the water is appearing bent. It is appearing bent because the image of the pencil is forming slightly above than where it originally is. So what are the other, uh, you know, observations that can be explained through the process of refraction? I'll tell you about those also. So these are few more common observations that can be explained by the phenomenon of refraction of light. Dear children, if you stand at the pool side, और आप पूल को देखने की कोशिश करोगे पूल साइड पे खड़े होके तो आपको जो पूल का बॉटम है वो थोड़ा सा रेज दिखाई देगा राइट जो पूल का जो बॉटम है डी पूल अपीयर्स शैलोवर दैन इट इस राइट वो किसलिए हो रहा है वो सिर्फ रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट की वजह से हो रहा है सिमिलरली अगर आप एक कॉइन को किसी � और जो ग्लास का बॉटम है, दोनों ही आपको थोड़ा सा रेज दिखाई पड़ेगा। This is again due to the process of refraction of light. Okay, then moving forward, dear children, let us now try and understand the phenomenon of refraction of glass, uh, refraction of light through a glass slab, right? So. Now, as you can see, I have drawn the boundary of the glass, rectangular glass slab here, which is A, B, C and D, right? Now, here the two media are air and glass respectively. O, E represents the incident light here. So, O is the point of incidence here. N and dash represents the normal. Normal is a again imaginary perpendicular which is drawn at the boundary AB. This is just for the reference. This is just to see in which direction the light will bend. Whether it will bend towards the normal or away from the normal. So this straight line helps us to tell that. Now let us see what, what, what will happen next. So as the light moves into glass. Glass is a denser medium. So, the light ray will bend towards the normal. So, we represent the angle of incidence as I1 and the angle of refraction as R1. Now, next the light is incident at the boundary CD. Right? You can clearly see that the light is incident at the boundary CD. Now, again there will be a change in medium here. The light will travel from glass to air. So, at the point of incidence O dash, I have drawn a normal M, M dash. Now, as the light is moving from glass to air, air is a rarer medium. So, what will happen? The light ray will move 
away from the normal. So you can see the light ray has moved away from the normal. So the light ray GH which is which finally emerges out from the glass lab is called as emergent ray, right? So we represent the angle I2 is again angle of incident at the boundary CD and R2 is angle of refraction. Ma'am, here let me tell you that we have only three more minutes left for yes, the session. Yes, ma'am, I'm just winding up the session. So dear children, now if I extend the incident ray forward, you can see that E, F, L, P is the incident light, right? So this incident light, we can clearly see that the refracted ray or the emergent ray GH has shifted sideways, right? So this is the perpendicular distance. The line, dotted line, represents the perpendicular distance be between the incident ray and the emergent ray, which is GH. Now, children, one thing to note here is the angle I1 and angle R2 will be equal because the light suffers equal and opposite deviation at the boundaries AB and CD. So that is why the angles I1 and R2 are equal to each other. So let me just quickly summarize yes, what we have learned today. The phenomenon of bending of light when it travels obliquely from one transparent medium to another is known as refraction of light. The cause of refraction of light is change in speed of light as it enters from one transparent medium to another. The light ray bends towards the normal when it enters from optically rarer to optically denser medium. The light ray bends away from the normal when it enters from optically denser to optically rarer medium. And in refraction of light through a glass lab, the emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray as the extent of bending of light at the two opposite faces is equal and opposite. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your wonderful, uh, this wonderful session. Or aapke is detailed information ke liye, reflection of light ke liye. Uh, main quite sure hoon. I am quite sure that all of our 10th class ke students and science students will like this session and you can reach our queries and feedback to our email address which is dth.class10th at the rate cit.nic.in Now, we will talk about this session but first of all, we thank you very much for coming to the studio and you have come to our children and for the children and 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 thank you so very much for being with us और अभी अपने सभी देखने वालों को हम कहेंगे कि आप कहीं मत जाइए आप बने रहिए पीएम एविडेंस चैनल और एनसीआर टी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल पे एक छोटे से ब्रेक पे जा रहे हैं हम अब ब्रेक के बाद अपने लाइव फोन इन प्रोग्राम के साथ फिर हाजिर होंगे अभी फिलहाल मुझे रेणु भट्ट को दीजिए इजाजत नमस्कार